Hello, my friends. My name is Reverend Terry Allen Christian. I'm the author of a book called What Did Jesus Say? The Seven Messages from the Master. I'm coming to you today from my upper room in my home. Before I had an upper room in my home, I had an upper room in my mind where I went to prayer and I stay in prayer and I carry the thoughts uh, of doing God's will. I encourage all of you uh, to have a good upper mind uh, as you walk in God's body called the temple. What did Jesus say about giving and charity? That's all I want to talk with you about today. I believe what would Jesus do is always answered in what did Jesus say. We learn to give out of love, not out of guilt. We learn to give what God says to us, not what is obligated from us. Let me talk with you specifically, though, about what Jesus said about giving. Jesus said, I'm giving. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. And remember always, with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Think about that. With the same measure of giving that you use, it'll be given back to you. Giving, give like you want to live. Not religiously, out of guilt, but spiritually with love. Give where the Holy Spirit guides you. You may be buying someone coffee or lunch or breakfast or giving them a dollar or two or helping them with their lights or whatever. Giving is not just in money. We give of our time. We give of our self. We give of our assistance. But give from the heart because then you'll be given back from the heart of other people. Give where the Holy Spirit guides you. Remember, Jesus said, Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be put back. With the same measure that you use, it'll be measured back to you. Let's do what Jesus said. Now, what did Jesus say about charity? I think that's a big important part of our Christian walk is our charity. Uh, it seems to be that whatever we do in secret, God rewards us openly. So what did Jesus say about our charity? He said, do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory from other men. Surely, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing and that charitable deed done in secret. And your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. So our charity is important. Our giving is important. Let me add something that very few people understand in the walk of Christianity. Jesus said, have mercy on all everyone. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed on the other side. Likewise a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day when he departed, he took out two denera, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was, was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? One man said, he who showed mercy on him, then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. My friends, Jesus said this, You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am, for I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Jesus said he speaks for God. Jesus said, whoever keeps his word is loved by God. Jesus says, if you abide in my word, you're my disciples. My brothers and sisters, 
I'm coming to you teaching from the book called What Did Jesus Say? It contains over 500 scriptures spoken by Jesus without any added opinions or comments from me. It's a one-of-a-kind teaching devotional, 170 pages, full color, easy to read. No opinions added, just the pure words of Jesus. It's now available in paperback, ebook, Kindle, audiobook, full color. It's dedicated, this book is dedicated to everyone who wants to walk with Jesus, feel his presence, hear his words, and understand his teachings. If you would like a copy of this, click on to the link at the bottom of this uh, message here. And if giving is part of your life, not all ministries are the same. I work full-time online, helping Christians around the world come to terms with what Jesus said and overcome man's religious opinions. Please check into the link of what we're about. If you have it in your heart to give a gift from your heart, my ministry could truly benefit by that. Um, this is my full-time job. I uh, rarely make ends meet on a monthly basis. It's way of God keeping my full attention. So your ministry help would be very helpful. If you're the type of person that supports ministries that help Christians, please click on to the link called Gifts from the Heart. I want you to know, wherever you are in the world today, God loves you and so do I. And remember always, with God, all things are possible all the time. Wherever we are, at any given moment, we pray believing. Goodbye for now.